Tried all the rest? Learn from the best. Join WDGLC.com today. Hey there, everybody. It's Wayne D. And we had a pretty good tournament last week at the Transitions. Innisbrook, great course, Copperhead course. I played there in the Florida Open back in 19... I don't know. <laughs> 1983, 2, something like that. Anyway, these guys played real nicely. It's Sang Moon Bay, and there's Luke Donald who eventually won the tournament. I wanted to show you their swings and also uh, look at Robert Garrigus and uh, Ernie Yells and Ken Duke. Just uh, comment a little bit about a couple of things. Something I've been doing recently is focusing on the the takeaway and what starts the what starts the swing. For the longest time, I had pretty much gone along with conventional golfing teaching wisdom, which says that you initiate the swing with the upper body and that the lower body is pulled along into the motion by the twisting of the upper trunk. So, you know, either say start with the shoulders, the twist the spine, turn the back, whatever. But I've actually, through studying these videos and having the V1 that allows you to move slow-mo back and forth without clicking. Big difference from the old remote on the digital camera where you would click, click, click. This, this has seamless movement. You can see tons more of what's going on with the camera. So let's take a look. Now, for people that get annoyed when I run the thing back and forth a bunch, this video is going to annoy you even more because what I'm looking at here is a very, very subtle movements and I want you to focus on the right hip and the butt and the right leg and then watch the, watch the head. Now, the key here is that when this is happening, so you'll see the right knee move forward. Now the camera angle is skewed, obviously, so I can't tell you if it's moving. It, move, it looks like it's moving a little bit toward the target and a little bit forward uh, out toward the ball. So the right knee is moving and there's definitely a sitting so the, in other words the angle in the upper th or back in the right hamstring there is definitely that's changing so why call this loading loading into the ground some players will lower quite a bit when they do this depending on your initial posture Learn the Pivot Compression Golf Swing. Join WDGLC.com today. Donald lowers just some, and then he lowers some more, and he gets pretty much an average amount of down in his swing. It doesn't have a real pronounced down in transition, and he comes up into the ball pretty quick. But the key, what I'm looking at here, is the, is the, in effect, the pivot is starting the swing from the ground. And I've been trying to, I've had, a, I have a big issue with loading into my right leg because of my long-term back problems, which ran down my leg, and I have a lot of, a lot of pain and stiffness in the back and in that right leg, so it avoids. It. Uh, loading down, it doesn't like to, to stay flexed. 
as you watch this, you can see it. I mean, he's pressing into the ground, and then the hands and arms move, and that gets the athletic motion underway. Now, he's number one in the world, and pretty much no one has, well, I wouldn't say no one, but he's got one of the more consistent rhythm, tempo-oriented swings that you'll see. So he's got this classic looking swing, but in the beginning there, there there's quite a bit of movement. So being the number one player in the world, that's obviously worth worth looking at. Now let's go over and look at uh, Sang Moon Bay, who probably hit the ball as good as anybody coming down the stretch. Hit a great shot at 17, didn't get a very good break. So let's see what he does here. And I see the same thing. Not quite as pronounced as Donald, but you see the right, you'll see a change right in the, in the angle in the right leg there. Watch. Right there. So the right leg moves a little forward. The angle in the back of the hamstring changes. And again, he's lowering to me into the ground and getting the trunk movement started and the handle and the shaft will move a little bit before the club head and now if we watch Bay's head you can see he loads definitely a little to start and right at the top and then watch him come down mm. so there's another another bit of evidence of compressing or lowering into the ground I mean you really see it all the time why these guys on television continue to talk about uh, not lowering or maintaining your level is beyond me I mean all you have to do is watch the swings draw a couple of lines and you can see it this guy's got a real nice golf swing right arm's a little bit neutral stays a little bit more up against his side but look how open he gets he hasn't even hit it yet there great pivot movement there he hit some real nice shots coming down the stretch well, let's look at uh, Let's look at Robert Garrigus. Now he's got a little different deal going on here. Watch. What what he'll do is is he'll almost stand away from the ball and pull the club away with kind of a funny funny takeaway. And then he'll just he'll just go into throwing mode and just drop like crazy. And then <laughs> And then turn into that thing and just frickin' rip it. I mean, he just kills it. He killed this drive. This is in the playoff. So, as you see, he doesn't really load in the first part, but he does move back. A little different. So he's gonna he's gonna load down right about now. He's got almost no wrist cock yet. This move is awesome. So if you watch where his grip handle goes out above the ball, right elbow is coming in front, and he comes in and just talk about get, can you get any more open than that when you hit it? Let's watch that one at full speed. He hit like 330. All right. So let's turn over to uh, to Ernie. This is the shot he, he hit on 18. But I wanted to show you how he starts his swing here. 
And again, check out the pants leg. There's the shift. Look at the head. You see the you can see his whole face kind of drop down. And Ernie does all of his lowering in the back swing. And then the forward swing, he's level and then he comes up. It's one of the advantages of being an extra big guy. So again, as I toggle this back and forth right at the beginning, he's not moving that club yet, and yet his legs are moving. And he, then he lowers. And again, here's evidence of the, of the handle coming out toward the ball, right at it. There it is. Shaft is shallowing. And he leaves his right arm a little bit back too and comes in and has quite a bit of hand rotation through the ball. Now he hit the ball great right up until the last two iron shots that he hit. But he would have won anyway, he just missed a couple of four footers. Now this was actually the week before, but I got a good shot of Adam Scott. I wanted to show you this one too. Watch the legs. Now that's real obvious. Get this sit down. And again, head movement. So again, some of these guys are more subtle than others, but I'm of the mind now that takeaway is not an arm and shoulder movement, it's a pivot movement, and that the best way to do it is to press into the ground and get everything moving, including the handle before the club head moves. So now let's do one more. Here's a There's a swing of Tigers at Doral. Watch his hands before he takes it back. Just pushes the hands down a little bit. That's his little load. You can see a tiny little movement in the in the body. Look at another one here. And of course, plenty of the most famous <laughs> dipper of all time, Tiger Woods. But you know what? He doesn't even lower, he doesn't lower significantly more than any of these guys. If you look at those two lines and you go through what I just did, you know, they're all pretty close to the same. Tiger just gets most of the pub for it. Anyway. Thought you might find that interesting. Um, it's always neat when the swings of the guys that are playing good sort of coincide with some of the stuff that I've been talking about. So I like to point that out to you. All right.